Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Imuno Project. We here at the Imuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I mentioned in a previous video about the, the tochacha. These are the admonitions, uh, a very tough reading uh, in Leviticus 26 and Deuteronomy 28. And I want to focus on a, on a posik and a verse in uh, Deuteronomy 28. Um, where uh, God gives Jewish people a vision of what will happen if we do not uh, obey uh, his commandments, if we do not follow his laws, if we turn our back to, uh, to God, to, to Judaism. Um, and the verse goes, this is uh, the uh, 34th ver uh, verse of chapter 28 of the book of Deuteronomy. You, they're talking about the horrible, horrible things that will happen in the future if we abandon God. You will go mad from the sight of your eyes that you will see. And it was uh, Rabbi Akiva Eger who interprets your eyes as being your leaders <clears throat> and um, who are basically the eyes of the Jewish nation. The spiritual uh, leader of Kal Israel, but Israel, the children of Israel, the Jewish people. They are leadership, they are our eyes. And the verse is, we will go mad from the sight of your eyes that you will see. The curse in this verse of the Tochacha is that the Jewish people will be dumbfounded by the, um, the rhetoric and the behavior um, which will emanate from our own leaders, people who should be you know, inspiring us and getting us to come closer to God and come closer to the Yiddishkeit, these so-called leaders in those horrible days that has v'sholem, God forbid, will never come, um, they will they will be humiliating. These leaders will be humiliating and degrading. And this vision, this marianecha, uh, this this image of um, our eyes, as it were. <clears throat> These leaders will act in a manner unbecoming a Torah Jew, unbecoming a Frum Jew, let alone a spiritual leader. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, and we pray three times a day that um, we say, return to us our judges as before. Give us leadership the way you gave us in the old days, let our leaders now and those to come be, have the merit and have the wisdom and the guidance and the foresight that our previous leaders had. Um, leaders that lived up to the standard of ages past, years ago. Um, it's also uh, the meaning of our prayer and light up our eyes with your Torah. We implore Hashem, we implore the Creator to give um, inspiration, to open up um, the eyes of our leadership to the Torah. People who put themselves in a position of leadership, people who, who, um, who say that they're leaders, who act as if they were our leaders. Um, sometimes um, they're a little misguided. Sometimes they're a little um, mistaken, let's say. These self-proclaimed leaders of the Jewish people. Um, may they be enlightened by the Torah and more discerning when rendering uh, useless halachic decisions, and um, let's say injudicious advice. Um, I won't go into any further detail, but um, may we, through our own actions, our prayers, our, uh, our observance, our good lifestyles, may we deserve such leadership as we had in the old days. Uh, and may we, God forbid, never see those horrible, horrific 
days uh, of the future, may they never come, where um, we will go mad from the sight of our leaders, from the sight of our eyes that we will see. May we never see those days. May we soon see the days uh, of Moshiach. May they come soon and in our time. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imono Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you so much.